I will do exactly what we did uh, oh. for the last two presentations in Brisbane, which was quite successful where we wouldn't test or test minimally things like ECA. We did it with the ECA and we did it with a module builder. And actually with module builder, we were quite successful. We raised the issue and the issue was closed. Uh, so it was fixed and closed just based on a uh, pure exploration uh, using the meetup. So let's see if we can do the same with single directory components. ECA is excellent module point. I just played with it um, last week and it's just amazing. I've been meaning to give it a go actually. Um, I've listened to a podcast about it. So um, yeah, I just haven't got in there yet. But... Pretty good. Anyone use the single directory components? I did. I wouldn't lie. I did try, but I couldn't get it to work. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can do it. We have, I don't know. Let's give it twenty twenty five minutes. Let's see yeah. what we can do. So, uh, I look at the documentation first. So the documentation says using single directory components. As they see, a Drupal implementation of components. Components are important. Drupal theme and system and combined HTML, CSS, and JavaScript in customizable and reusable way. The goal is to make it easy to find and work with all assets that make an element you are seeing on the page. So there's a quick start. Let's do that. In web developed components are part of a web page or application that is modular and reusable with a specific functionality or purpose. It's like building a block that can be used to create more complex interfaces. Drupal SDC consists of metadata that describes the component, HTML markup, and optional CSS and JavaScript. So let's learn more. Sounds like a long start. To demonstrate how single compo directory components work, we're going to walk through creating an example chip component to use in a theme. You must be using Drupal 10.1. Let me close other stuff. This and this. Drupal 10. Hey, freshly installed Drupal 10. We go to extend. Single directory components and just enabled it. So there is a link to help. It actually requires serialization module from the core as well. So you can see it's in experimental modules. So there's a link to online documentation. Introduce a copse or UI components to a Drupal core. A component is a combination of tweak templates, style sheet, scripts, assets, and metadata. So now they actually expanded here to the tweak and metadata. Components represent an encapsulated and reusable UI elements. Ah, that's a components and single directory components reduce the number of framework implementation details required to put template HTML, CSS, and JavaScript in Drupal page. They also define explicit component API that provides methodology, replace a component, provided upstream. Okay. So uh, you must have single directory component module enabled. We did that. You must have a theme or module that you want to add components to. They must be installed at admin appearance. You must know where the file system theme code is located. Yep. Yeah. So. I just wanted to understand it says themes and module, right? Um, yep. And I, ha I had a use case, like if you have, if you're purely component based and you want to go like full on, you know, each component in its own module, like how we had features in Drupal, Drupal 7, something like that, you know, I always wonder whether, so this only shows all the examples regarding theme. But mm -hmm. did anybody try? Have anybody tried ever to use it in like um, a module? Like, well, I believe it's 
Let's try it. Yeah. Well, that's that's what we're here for. Cool. <laughs> okay, so let's do the modules. So I'm in a Drupal. Here I raise it here so everyone can see it. Okay. So let's make a directory saying. Um, Minus p web sites mo no web modules. Maybe you can use generator would be much easier, Vladimir. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can do that, but uh, I'll just quickly do it. Uh, generator as in the as in the code. Yes. Yeah. Oh, in the, the Rust, one... Rust, yeah, Rust generator. So. I think it's trust generate module. Yeah. So you have to say module afterwards. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it actually says or is, can can you do it? There you go, module. Yeah, just trust generate module, and it will like be a wizard. It will walk you through. Yeah. Module name. Let's do a single directory components meetup. File, install file. Yeah, quickly. Quick. Okay. Done. So we have a module in mod web module customs SDC meetup. And they say to create a component, we need to do here. So they say components chip. Okay. Here we are. So here's our module. And inside chip, we need components YAML that can populate this metadata. So if we'll do touch Okay. Requires color dismissible dismissible one of the primary or secondary. The data in this file describes your component to Drupal and to anyone who wants to make use of it. And one includes here my readable name from the component, definition of prompts, and slots for data with an unknown structure like nested components. So slots, chip content, content, content of the chip. Props and slots are declared using JSON schema syntax. And now Boolean objects array. Let's add some markup. So let's say add chip twig. Okay, done. The above use contains HTML markup and twig extension that make use of the component inputs or other node twig variable names and the values map to props and slot defines in your metadata. Ah, oh, feel free to speak, Amjad. I'm just... Yep, sorry, I don't want to interrupt you, but something I just noticed I want to share. 
And that mm -hmm. was just a tweak. It wasn't HTML dot tweak. So I believe that part is more like um, not connected to Drupal, I believe, or well, they um, say they say it's a dot tweak file. Yes, so I think what they do well, is think, the yep. actual module reads it and then uh, and then translates it here because here they're using right. Yeah. Embed Elevera chip with a primary dismissible. So they actually, what they do later, then actually overwrite template here and mm -hmm. inside they put the component. So, so that's, this... that's, that's what I'm saying. Probably this is like the tweak file is sort of like decoupled from Drupal. I mean, it, mm. it is connected to Drupal, of course, yeah, but yeah. in a yeah. way, it's like an independent file and then HTML dot tweak in the theme is what's kind of inheriting that file. That's what the documentation said. Asking. You can actually use it. Uh, you you can the from what I read, you can use it not just with Drupal. So you can actually drag and drop components. I assume to use it with Symphony and other stuff as well. So that's the plan. Oh yeah, yeah. From yeah. what I can cool. see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So in order to use the markup generated by a component, you'll need to embed it into a Twig template feed file in your theme. In your yes. theme. Okay. Mm. No, okay. just an observation. Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt you. Oh, good. No, we're just here to uh, discuss. So I guess I'll generate the theme. Because we need a custom theme. How about starter kit? You can even do a same demo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, can can do a starter kit as well. But mm. I'm I'm already using. Uh, I actually want to see how quickly embed. Uh, I I want to embed Olivero and with starter kit. I don't think I can use Olivero. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's cool. I think it's full stack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Clara. Elevera. Oh. Oh. Okay. That's a lot of work to put one component in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have SDC theme. So they create a template. With all the yeah, stuff. Yeah, be empty. Yeah. So here we go and probably to touch oh, themes custom SDC theme templates. The node they created and they say let's create a node tweak no HTML tweak template. Okay. Yeah. Copy stuff. So we actually don't have Alivero cheap. We have SDC Mira. Okay. That's interesting because um, I don't know if, if you don't enable that module, how would it find out? Oh, this is in the theme, isn't it? Yeah, sorry. Uh, this one in a theme, yes, but still, if you don't, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Okay, let's do a few things. First, let's see if we can. Uh, let's create basic page let me get some content Here, save it. Okay. 
Let's clear cache. Okay, so we can see, still see. You have to uh, enable your custom team, is it? Yeah, yeah, but I'm just oh, trying okay, to just, find just out e yeah. if there is anything. So block chip component here and then embedded. I assume that means that they embed in the original thing. Hmm. Okay. I'm not really sure what embedded actually is. So if I'll do Vladimir here. So cache rebuild is this. Um, the template ah. probably wouldn't take place until Wait. you want. We yeah. actually you... we actually on our own theme. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you want to install your theme, on install the default. Go back to the side. <laughs> Website encountered an error. Template that extends another cannot include content outside Twig blocks. Line Is yeah. it? <laughs> so now it says SDC yeah, meetup yeah, chip perfect. is not defined. Yeah. That's what we so, want because we haven't en enabled the module. Um, So enable the module, refresh it. Wow, that looks pretty. <laughs> oh, well, I guess, uh, I, I guess the, the blocks went all over the place. Yeah. But I think the, the chip is here called type page Something now. Something happened. <laughs> yes, so. Do nice that. Thing. Let's go. Appearance. Quickly fix it. Appearance. Oh, I love appearance. So what do we have? Structure. Walk layout. Considering it a live demo, that's like smallest thing I've ever seen <laughs> going yeah. wrong. It's <laughs> good. So header, page title, page tabs. And we got three content secondary tabs. Nope. Did you go? Anyway. Breadcrumbs, go to breadcrumbs. That. Content goes primary admin action, main page content. M maybe it actually co created the, the theme generation, created the incorrect uh, regions. Yeah, I believe so. Yep. In, in for YAML. Uh, Check if the regions are right. Mm. Let's see. Let's move the so content main page, but no primary admin action. Oh, it's weird. Some of them, like content, is still there, but it's uh... just misplaced. Mm. Yeah, always block generation on the live side. It's always a bit of a pain. Maybe we can create an issue for them. Uh, I think it's uh, it's been long term kind of thing. Right. Okay, so page title and primary tabs goes to header. There isn't header. 
status message, go to highlight it. Oh, there's no highlighted. Yeah, that explains it. Okay. So it did do a block content chip and type page. So basically it says here's block, say type, page, dismissible. Block chip content. So, what's in our template? In our template, we have chip. Sorry, uh, it added the classes, and also there was an empty block chip content, which we, where we basically slot in the page type from the node template. Mm. And it's awesome, yeah. like you are doing all this from module uh, going to the theme. So I'm, I'm sure if we can tweak, like, for example, a preprocessor to use a template for a node from module itself instead of theme, and theme can completely go out. Yep. The tweak code embeds chip component into tweak template file and defines the value to pass to the component inputs. They use standard tweak embed syntax. Some things to note, the namespace of component aloe vera chip resolved to a chip component in the aloe vera theme and definition of the input props, color and dismissible. So you can actually pass the values here. Yeah. Corresponds to the props and slots you define in the component. Clear the cache and view on your side, you should see the node type output as a chip on the page in the place of embed embedded the component as a node template file. So they then they add some style and add in some JavaScript. So they do chip CSS templates chip chip CSS and they add in chip JavaScript. So I think this is very powerful. What I read from the documentation is we don't need any library YAML. Mm. It will just figure out. Uh, but you still, like, it's still kind of, they said uh, the reason for it, you don't really need to use Twig. And it seems mm -hmm. like just using another system within the twig. Yeah. So put in the Drupal behaviors here. It refers to the page. Drupal should automatically locate the new JavaScript file and includes whatever the components are used. You can test that it's working by setting dismissible prop to your component to true. So twig dismissible. Uh, so it is dismissible true color primary so we can set something like secondary clear cache okay let's test it the ugly side boom nice well, uh, it did secondary color, but how do I dismiss it? <laughs> when you click, I think it's changing the thingy. Yeah, it works. I also saw probably classes changing, if not wrong. Maybe dismissible is actually, uh, although Maybe it's because they actually do it in, they do it in Oliveira, so I'm not sure. Yeah. Something happens. <laughs> it plus it really is good. Maybe it came primary, and I believe it would be changing it to secondary. I don't know, I'm just making that.
Yep. Okay, so uh, maybe we can correct the documentation here. Refresh the page and Drupal should. So it actually says add event listener, chip class list toggle, chip dismissed. So it's dismissible on. And the event listener click is actually should say dismissed. Uh, so let's see. Dismissible. Nope. So JavaScript. Yeah, we class toggle. So it does happen something. So query selector mm -hmm. all chip dismissible for each chip toggle chip dismissed. If you if you, you can check in your like in the if you right click the element and then in your browser and browser console you can check if they are event listeners. So you know where there's files and computed in the mm -hmm. right hand yep. corner. There's double arrow. If you click on that, it might show you yeah, event listeners. Yep. Yep. And just see click. It does have No, the... it, it it goes there, yes. It goes yeah. there, but it doesn't do the actual toggle. Yeah, maybe you can put a break point and see. You. But yeah, mm. I mean. Yeah, well, yeah. this is a bug already we found, which is good. So we can, can improve that. OK, taking it further. The components can do a lot more. Now that you understand the brief example, check out complete annotated example to learn more. Here's a few things to experiment with. You can include other assets in the directory too, like images, but they won't be automatically loaded. You'll need to reference them in your tweak, CSS, or JavaScript files. You can add mm. an icon to your name chip component. Use library overrides in your name component to require additional JavaScript libraries, like jQuery once or jQuery. You can rewrite the JavaScript so that can use us. Okay, so we actually build the component inside the module. Just need yeah, to make sure fun. to find out what's uh, there. Here you go. Mm -hmm. So just to wrap it up, I prepared a few things. So if you haven't listened, there's a big chat with uh, Mike Herschel and Mattel who built this thing or helped build this thing. Uh, it was actually pretty, uh, fun conversation to listen to. Not enough technical details, but like history and all that. Uh, Lullabot, who was a major sponsor, wrote an article, again, also covers a bit of history. Uh, single directory components, the actually presentation from DrupalCon Pittsburgh. Uh, I halfway through that, so I'll see what I actually demonstrate in there. And also, last thing I wanted to edit is uh, Mike Herschel's website. And in March, he wrote an article about creating your single directory component if you want to try something else. He actually goes and creates uh, tabs as well. So here we go. So that's another uh, tutorial. So he actually uses Oliveira tabs.